Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be giving you a video on how to make your own labels. Okay, so this could be for anybody, like if you have a lip gloss line, if you make body creams, if you make candles, if you make whatever. I'm going to try my best to explain how I make my candles, labels and stuff so that you can make your own. If you're new to my channel, you should subscribe. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so boom. What you're gonna need is sticker paper. I use online labels. I just got some glossy paper. I never use glossy paper. I've only used the matte paper, which is like the kind that, like printer paper, but sticker paper. But I just got glossy right here. As you can see, it has a shine and it's a hundred sheet. I got that off of Amazon. It was $54 for 100 sheets. Yeah, so the labels that I made, well, for my, okay, I had to think, but anyways, these are the labels for my warning label. They kind of printed Cricut, but it was the way I sized it on the um, mat. These are my warning labels, and I made these, these are stickers. So I could just put this on the bottom of my candle. I made these labels right here, which are for my wax melt. I only use printer paper because I was practicing and I didn't want to mess up my sticker paper. So this is the only reason why it's on printer paper. But today we're going to be testing it out and I'm going to show you the whole process of how I make my labels. Obviously, how I make my labels is different from how you make yours. Like my design is different, your design is different, so that's something you're going to have to figure out. Your design, I'm just showing you how to print it. Actually, for this video, it's going to be kind of like a trial and error because I've never used glossy paper before. Of course, it's gonna be different from matte because it's glossy and it might smudge, okay? But we're gonna see, I already got my label made. I just need to print it out. Let's get started, okay? Okay, so I know you can't see me, but I'm gonna do a screen recording of this screen and I'm gonna try my best to like sync it with this audio so that you can know what I'm doing. Well, I'm looking a mess, but anyways, as you can see, I'm editing the video, and I totally forgot to mention the rest of the stuff you need. You need a Cricut machine. Um, I have the Cricut Explore Air 2, and that's how I'm printing my labels. Of course, you're going to need a printer. Um, I use the HP printer. I think it's like the 7000 series printer, and it's good for printing mainly photos. So, yeah, that's what I use, and yeah. I just wanted to add that in there because I forgot to mention that, okay? Also, I'm using Photoshop for designing my labels. Okay, you guys, so what we have here is Photoshop and I have my logo right here. And I don't know how this is gonna be. I'm basically just using a voice memo on my iPhone and using OBS on my desktop computer. So hopefully this is synced up the best that it is. So yeah, but basically what I'm gonna do is over here I have my group and this is all of my contents on this layer. So everything is basically like set in place. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna do duplicate group and then I'm gonna make a copy. So the bottom copy, I'm going to lock it right here. And then with this, I'm going to go up to um, Merge Group, which is Control E. And if you're on a Mac, it's Command E. I'm going to press Merge Group. And then it's just basically one flat surface. So it's not grouped anymore. It's just one image now. So. I can move this however way I want it to. And you can just turn this one off because we don't need it. So everything is basically flat, like a picture basically. So what you're gonna do is we are going to press control on your keyboard and on your Mac you press command, control, and then you see right here how it's like a little selection tool. You're gonna click it and you're gonna select this right here okay so you're gonna go to this is selected we're gonna create a new group a new layer right here and then we're gonna name it die cut 
Okay. And we're going to move this below. Okay. So now we're going to go to select and then we're going to go to modify. And we're going to go to expand. And it's automatically going to put 20 pixels. And then you're going to press OK. So now what you have is you have this little border going around your label. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the paint bucket tool, which is underneath the gradient tool on Photoshop. You're going to go to the paint bucket tool, click the paint bucket, and then usually, see for my label, I'm going to keep it black because I want it to stay black. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep it black and basically... What you're going to do is this foreground color over here, you're going to change it to white. I'm just going to show you because why not? But you're just going to change it to white. Press OK. And then you're just going to fill it. So now you have like a sticker outline for your label. But obviously it doesn't look good on mine because it is um, black. So I'm going to want a black label. Okay, so what I would do is I'm going to make it this and then I'm going to fill it in like that. That's basically it. And then you're just going to copy that for however many times you want to put it on the sheet. And then you're basically done. So how you do that is you're going to group these. I'm going to group these right here. And I just hold down shift and then click both of them then you press Control g and you group it okay so this is all and to deselect you press Control d so it's deselected so everything see if you move it here goes the die cut right here but we're going to do edit undo move so it can position back into its spot okay so we're going to select everything and then we're going to press edit, copy, and then edit, paste. And then it's going to make another one. And then you're just going to position them out on your sheet the way you want it printed. So we're just going to keep pressing edit, paste. And we're just going to um, position them out. Okay, so we have them all positioned out, and I'm not going to worry too much about, well, actually, you can select all this and just move it up. Okay, that looks better. Okay, so now that we have everything good on the paper, what we're going to do now is we're going to press File, we're going to press Export, and we're going to press Export As. And then we're going to export it as a PNG up here where it says transparency. You're going to do PNG, not JPEG, not GIF or SVG. You're going to do PNG so it can have a transparent background. Okay, so now we're going to press export and then we're going to just save. And I obviously already made one, but I'm a re resave it over the top because uh, this one is actually better than the previous one so I'm going to save it and then you're pretty much done so we're going to move over to my MacBook and I'm going to show you how I export to the Cricut okay so I'm back and I got it printed and I'm going to show you how the glossy paper looks look how pretty the labels look and I know my Cricut mat is dirty so this is how the labels look so basically so I'm gonna come right back I don't know this is all over the place I'm like literally trying to do a screen recording and I'm trying to film this at the same time so I guess it's gonna go back and forth so we're gonna go back to the screen recording because I need to show you what is about to happen okay okay so 
now we're on our MacBook because my computer, I don't have printing on it. I have to get a Bluetooth chip for that. But this is the PNG right here. So we're going to go to Cricut Design Space. And we're going to do New Project. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Upload. We're going to go to Upload Image, Browse. And we're going to drag this, what we just got. We're going to press Complex. And this is how it looks. As you can see, the background is clear or transparent. And we press Continue. We're going to do this right here. And as you can see, it already has a cut image for each label. Okay, so we're going to press Save. Okay, and this is what we just uploaded. So we're going to press Insert Images. And up here, we're just going to do, we're just going to press 9 because that's the size of my mat instead of just like resizing it all the way and over here as you can see it's like a little warning sign that means that this print is too big for your mat so you're going to just scoot it up okay so it's fixed okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to make it and then it's going to show you how you position it on your mat or continue. I don't know what I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. So it's going to send it to the printer. Okay. So I'm going to print it myself because I have a photo paper or glossy paper. And I think you do a photo printing setting. So I'm going to come back when I have it printed. Okay. We have our Cricut and um, I have the Cricut Explore 2. So we're just going to load it. And yes, I'm aware my mat is broken. Okay, you guys, we are back and we have it printed. I just showed you how it looked printed. Okay, so now what we're about to do is we're, we're about to click on the material. So now that we're connected up here to our Cricut machine, um... We're going to choose our material. So I have printable sticker paper in white, which is what is always on. I'm going to click that. And now I'm just going to load it to my Cricut. And then once I load it, I press this button. Obviously, you know how to do it. It'll tell you what to do. But yeah, we're going to go over to the Cricut. Okay, so now that we have the labels printed, I tried to print it like this, and as you can see, there's no streaks. But um, the reason why it wasn't picking up was because these sensor lines, which are these black lines around the paper, wasn't picking up because it's not on this paper. So it printed kind of um, streaky. So. Here goes the labels. See how streaky that is? I don't like that. I'm gonna try to fix it, but they print it pretty good other than the streaks. Okay, so, ooh. so what I like to do is I like to use, I don't know what kind of tool this is, but it comes with the Cricut machine and it's like a, a hook thing. And basically it makes it easier to like print, to like separate the, um sticker so here goes the sticker the label these are my wax melts for my um my wax my clamshells and basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just stick this label and there you go you have your labels i'm gonna zoom in and like i said it's streaky because i don't know what's going on with my printer maybe i put it in the wrong tray I don't know because obviously this one didn't come out streaky but when I print with the Cricut it comes out streaky but if I don't print with the Cricut it can't read the sensor lines which are the little black lines around the border so yeah but I mean it doesn't look bad but I mean it could be better. 
These are my wax melt. This has mahogany teak wood wax melts and it has the fluid ounce and everything. So basically all I need to do is make the wax melts. And then um, for my other warning label stickers, these, I could stick these inside like this. I could stick them inside like this because it wouldn't look right if I put it on the back like that. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make labels at home. I tried my best to explain it, but if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I answer all of my comments. Um, I have my notifications on, so every time I get a comment, I don't get many comments, but every time I do, I try my best to respond immediately. I hope you enjoyed how to make the labels. Um, I do pay for Photoshop. Um, I'm still on my student discount, even though I graduated like a few months ago but it just hasn't run out yet so it's twenty dollars a month for photoshop but after the student discount it'll be about fifty dollars it's pretty expensive but every business needs photoshop like i'm pretty sure there's some alternatives and stuff like that but i i went to school for photoshop um communications i got my certificates in photoshop um Illustrator and Premiere Pro. So I'm certified in all of those programs. So of course I'm going to use that if I'm certified in it. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Check out my website for candles. www.briannalefay.com Follow me on my Instagram at Co or at Lafay. You know, just follow me, okay? I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please like this video, comment down below if you need any help with anything or you didn't understand anything. And I will see you in my next video. It's on you, but I won't pay. The tide's rolling in, but you jump in way.